Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the GRI. This is their part number 184-12-W, Recessed Magnetic Contact Steel Door Wide Gap. So this is what it looks like outside of the packaging. You basically have uh, probably what's going, well, po probably what's going to be your frame component with the leads, and maybe your door component, or maybe vice versa, depending on the hardware that you are installing. Um, I'm really going to think that this is going to be the frame component though, uh, meaning the wiring getting in and out, uh, <laughs> I, you know, to put this in the door and then to run these wires back out, I don't see the point in that unless of course, um, you know, you're connecting to other things and you can easily put it there because something else is happening with the hardware. So these are literally what they call one inch and they're just press fit or self locking. So when you drill a hole, these tangs on the side, which will depress, are just going to snap in place, so to speak. The 184-12-WG-W is a normally open or closed loop type uh, contact. Overall length of the wires, by the way, is about 12 inch. That may be what the 12 stands for. We'll see if I can determine that uh, in a moment. So the bottom line is this is which I've just dropped normally open so that what that means is when you take that item in the package or you take it out of the package and put it on your desk the circuit is normally open when when this is laying on your desk normally open means that there is no continuity through the conductor electricity does not flow there are four components in a an, in an electrical circuit power supply conductor switch and load Okay, so power supply, that's easy. It's the power coming in. I happen to have a plug-in style transformer here. You run a couple of wires off of this, you've got power. Here's the power. Uh, conductor, it'd be just this bundle of wires that are here. Okay, this happens to be a connecting cable for a power, for a keypad. And while the wire diameter is far too thin for what you would normally use, it, it, it serves the purpose of saying this is what a conductor is. You also have a load. I have an enunciator here. This is nothing other than a buzzer is all this is. Um, this video is not to talk about why you'd have a buzzer, but just to show you, this is the load. This could be an electric strike, a cil electric cylinder dogging. It could be a, a light. It could be a, a magnetic lock. So that's the load. The switch is the contact in this instance. Okay, This will either tell it to be normally open or closed. So this exact part number is normally open. When you take it out, there's no continuity of electric, of, of electric current running through the conductor to the load from the power supply through the conductor to the load through the switch. Um, conversely, when you take this and you bring this together, now the circuit is closed. So the circuit is closed until you uh, open up the door. Now the circuit is open, normally open, because that's the its natural state. Close the door again. Now the circuit is closed. Open, closed. It's that simple. There's actually a video that we have on our channel talking about um, demonstrating how this works. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. Now why you would want it normally open? You know, you don't want power to flow unless the door is closed, whatever the requirement of that might be. Um, you know, is really only limited by imagination, it seems, when you have switches and um, relays, when you add relays to a system. But it could simply be the door is closed. That means that the circuit is closed, meaning there is current running through it. When the door is closed, you might be reporting back that there's current running through that opening. Okay, That could be a green light or a red light, whatever color you like. It could be a green light. Um, when the door is open, that green light's going to turn off. Okay, So if you see a light that's off on your control board, if you're at a central monitoring station, you know that you've got a door that's open. Now what you could do, because that's all good information to know, you know, door is closed, light is green, I'm good. That door is in the, that, at least that, well, maybe not the door is closed, but that the, the contact is brought together, if you follow my meaning. But we're assuming that the door is closed and the contact is brought together. Door is open, you don't have a light, that's bad, why is that open? You could take that to another step, add a relay, power the relay so that when the circuit is opened, 
it will force the relay to change its state and then give you an enunciator or a red light or some other indicator. Just an example of how you might want the electricity to flow. Uh, let's switch to the screen view and take a closer look at the supporting uh, information and documentation. Okay, so this is the item that we are here looking at. White in color, one piece design. They call it a closed loop type. We're going to focus on the terminology of normally open and we'll show you where to derive that. One inch diameter, recessed mounting, self locking, 12 inch, 22 gauge wires that are here, um, leads or screw terminals, whatever this is going to be connected down to. It's UL 10C rated, lifetime warranty, switches and magnets available separately. Longer leads, zip cord or jacketed cable upon request, absolutely. Uh, GRI, we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment, but let them give you the wiring that you need. Or, or meaning let them arrange the order for you in the way that is most suitable to your application. Built-in EOL end of line resistors and diodes upon request. Okay, so that's all good to know. Uh, wide gap, I can tell you that I've tested this switch this this got contact and I have spread that out you know at least two or three inches and it it definitely maintained um, its state the link here to a document called template it's really a cut sheet uh, an overview of all these items which I won't go over again the 184-12 Standard gap up to half inch on steel, wide gap, three quarter inch plus, oh, three quarter inch and over on steel. Uh, okay, so they are, we're in the closed loop column. So standard gap or wide gap, this part number would work on either, except that we're not dealing with a WG. We have just the 184-12-WW is white. So we're right here. This is a standard gap up to half inch on steel. You know, I was able to get the circuit to stay open much larger than that, um, but you know, that's what it's tested to. That's in the closed loop. They also have open loop versions, single pole double throw and double pole double throw. Page two shows us the dimensional properties of the item, which we'll touch on the diameter at the end of the video. So we're dealing with a 184-12. Right. Okay. That is a normally open electrical configuration. So when you take it out of the package, current does not flow. You'll notice that when the electrical configuration changes to normally closed, it's now an open loop type. I'll leave it to you to search the differences online of, of what a closed or open loop is. It's a conversation really outside of electrified hardware as far as my experience tells me. So normally open or normally closed, that's what we have to know. That means when the hardware comes out of the box, what is its native state? Is Would current flow through it or would current not flow through it? And that's normally open or normally closed. I think of the difference between normally open and normally closed between whether or not um, current can flow by thinking of the following. Imagine a very long wall. If you have, you take your laser pointer and laser point along that really long horizontal wall, if your door is closed, your laser pointer will go right over that door and continue on uninterrupted. But when you open that door, your laser pointer can't continue, and that makes it normally open. So when a door is ajar, you have an open circuit. Um, it's just the way that I recall or think of it. And in fact, this exact switch we're talking about will operate in that fashion, just out of coincidence. Gives you the electrical characteristics. Um, So what's important to us is maximum switching current. They only want you to run up to uh, 400 milliamps or 4 tenths or 0.4 amp through this. You've got to be mindful of what you're powering to not run more than that through this. Um, okay. The 200 volts, you'd never exceed you know, that sort of scenario. Uh, we're dealing with low voltage only. Really, I don't know, what the, I don't recall the cutoff for low voltage. It might be 48 volts but we're not dealing with stuff beyond 24 volts. Uh, a rating in watts, um, you know, a, a measure of energy uh, outside of our conversation really, as is ohms. 
Uh, but nonetheless, so 0.4 milliamp to pass through it, you need to know the maximum voltage that you can run through it, you need to know. Normally open, again, power is not flowing through it. All these other part numbers are here that will give you the definition of what you're looking for or what you're looking at. So if you need a normally closed circuit, you know, you probably are going to be looking at the... I don't know the difference between the 185 and the 189-12, but it's likely going to be one of the two of those. And it probably has everything to do with the size. Or though, the gap. is The gap rating is what it is, I would think. Nonetheless, we'll be able to pull that up in the full line catalog. Okay, let's, uh, before we switch back to the camera view, the link here below this video to the manufacturer's page, that will allow you to review not only all of the GRI products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to their price list, which is a generic document that just doesn't give us much additional information. Uh, competitor cross-reference is handy because the name that you're probably uh, going to know would be GE Security, and there indeed it is. Uh, so GE Security is very, very uh, recently now discontinued their line, so we'll be looking to do a lot more GRI as a result of that. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, door contacts like this are seen in nearly countless applications. You'll see them in hospitals all the time. You'll see them in airports all the time. Um, you're gonna, you know, you can, you can install these anywhere. Um, you know, you could think of a hotel. Um, here's, a, here's a simple application, I think. You open up the closet door on some hotels, in some hotels, the light will turn on for you. Well, those are usually mechanical switches, just a plunger switch, but the concept is the same. Let's say that you're you ordered a normally um, closed version of this, normally closed, um, so that when the door is closed, uh, pardon me, let's say, uh, what do we want here? We want to have normally closed, normally closed, so that when you take it out of the package, the circuit would be closed. When you install those contacts and you close the door, now, because it's in the opposite state, you have, an, you have an open circuit. There's no power that will flow through the conductor. Through the conductor, When you open the door, it will then close the circuit because you've, you've break in those, broken those two, allowing the light to turn on. Simple, simple application, I think. Uh, simple way to understand it. Um, I have called the GRI in the past for technical support. Perfect every single time. Uh, a relatively small company that makes uh, electrical components for industries certainly outside of the door hardware industry so you might want to take a look at their full line catalog they likely will have a part if you deal with electrified pieces or componentry they might have something that is of interest to you any questions on the GRI part number 184-12-W or any other GRI product please feel free to reach out to us and thank you If you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please click subscribe as well and even share the video with someone that you know. And if you have any questions for a future video, please send them our way and we will make every attempt to oblige. And thank you very much.